here it is. One of Nintendo's greatest accomplishments, Super Mario Brothers. I could sit here and talk about the success of this game and all the great things that came about because of it all day long. But you already know all that, so I'm not going to waste your time. Instead, I'm going to talk about one specific thing that spawned because of this game. And that, of course, are Super Mario Bros. collectibles. Oh hey, what's going on guys? Pixel Dan here, just hanging out at my friend Jason's house, playing his man cabinet. Playing some old Mario Brothers. Welcome to another episode of From Pixels to Plastic. You know, I'm only on episode 6 now, but ever since I've started this show, I have gotten suggestion after suggestion to do an episode on Super Mario Brothers. And since you guys are so awesome and so supportive of the show, I figured, heck, why not? I will do an episode on Super Mario Brothers toys. Now, Super Mario Brothers is such a huge property that there are so many items out there to collect based off that series. And there is no way I could cover all of that in just one show. But I've decided to pick out one of my favorite things from the Super Mario Brothers games. It's called the Super Mario Brothers Stage Figure. And if you've never heard of it, well, I'm going to show it to you today. Let's take a look. And here it is. Pretty awesome, right? And no, that's not just the game on pause. That is actually the Mario stage figure. Made by Band Presto under the Dot Graphics banner, the Mario stage figures were plastic backdrops that depicted famous scenes from the original Super Mario Bros. video game. And they are freaking sweet. They come packaged in a box that resembled the original Famicom Super Mario Bros. box. The box is even roughly the same size as Famicom games. And it's pretty cool and unique the way they package them. When you get the box, you have no idea which scene is inside. It's completely random, similar to how a lot of the Japanese Gashapon toys are. Once you open the stage set, it's pretty easy to assemble. The background pieces just plug right into the set. The character pieces, however, are different. There are actually small magnets that include these little coin or block shaped magnets as well. The coin and block magnets actually stick to the back of the stage set in order to allow the character magnets to clasp on. It's really cool, because it allows you to set your stage figures up any way you want to. Aside from the stage sets, there were also small boxes you could buy that included extra pieces. Just like the stage sets, these were packaged randomly, so you didn't know what you were getting until you opened up the box. These would consist of extra characters that were not included with the stages themselves, such as Luigi or a blooper. This way you could add to the stage scenes you already had, or really create your own wacky masterpieces. It's great to have the variety. The Mario stage figures have easily become my favorite of any Mario collectible out there. It's such a unique idea that really captures that great retro feeling of the original game. It's cool being able to display a small chunk of the video game world on your shelf or on your desk. Any Mario fan should seek these out. There are Japanese imports, so you're only going to find them online. Just do some searching for Mario stage figures, and you're bound to turn up something. I found mine on a website called PlayAsia.com, although they constantly sell out of them. So if you don't find them there, just keep searching. They're definitely worth it. Super Mario Bros. stage figures are fantastic, but they are just a very small piece of the Mario pie. There are tons and tons and tons of awesome stuff out there. But that's all I'm going to show you today, so stay tuned because in future episodes, I will definitely cover some more Super Mario Brothers. Until next time, I'm Pixel Dan, and I'm going to finish playing some video games. I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, hey dude. Yeah. Hey, um, when, when, you're, when you're done playing your game, yeah. uh, which, since I let you play, will you... Watch the movie with me. Yeah, that's that's cool, dude. What do you want to watch? Only the best movie ever!